after the war I went back to New York After the war I went back to New York I finished up my studies and I practiced law I practiced law, bird work next door Even though we started at the very same time Alexander Hamilton began to climb How to account for his rise to the top? Man, the man is non-stop Gentlemen of the jury, I'm curious, bear with me Are you aware that we're making history? This is the first murder trial of our brand new nation The liberty behind the liberation I intend to prove beyond the shadow of a doubt with my assistant counsel Oh, counsel Hamilton, sit down A client, Lemmy Weeks is innocent Call your first witness, that's all you had to say Okay, one more thing Why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? Why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? Why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? Assume that attitude may be your doom Why do you write like you're running out of time? Write day and night like you're running out of time Every day you fight like you're running out of time Keep on fighting in the meantime Non-stop! Corruption's such an old song that we can sing along in harmony And nowhere is it stronger than in Albany These colonies, economies, increasingly stalling And honestly, that's why public service Just seems to be calling me I practiced the law, practically perfected it I've seen injustice in the world and I've corrected it Now for a strong central democracy If not, then I'll be Socrates Throwing verbal rocks at these mediocrities oh. Hamilton at the Constitutional Convention I was chosen for the Constitutional Convention There is a New York Junior delegate. Now what I'm gonna say may sound indelicate. Uh, he goes and proposes his own form of government. What? His own plan for a new form of government. What? Talks for six hours. The convention is listless. Right, young man. Yo, who the f is this? Why do you always say what you believe? Why do you always say what you believe? Every proclamation guarantees free ammunition for your enemies. Uh, why do you write like it's going out of style? Right day and night like it's going out of style. Alexander? Aaron Burr, sir. Well, it's the middle of the night. Can we confer, sir? Is this a legal matter? Yes, and it's important to me. What do you need? Burr, you're a better lawyer than me. Okay. I know I talk too much. I'm abrasive. You're incredible in court. You're succinct, persuasive. My client needs a strong defense. You're the solution. Who's your client? The new U.S. Constitution? No. Hear me out. No way. A series of essays anonymously published defending the document of the public. No one will read it. I disagree. And if it fails. Burr, that's why we need it. The Constitution's a mess. So it needs amendments. It's full of contradictions. So is independence. We have to start somewhere. No. No way. You're making a mistake. Good night. Hey, what are you waiting for? What do you stall for? What? We won the war. What was it all for? Do you support this constitution? Of course. Then defend it. And what if you're backing the wrong horse? Burr, we studied and we fought and we killed for the notion of a nation we now get to build. For once in your life, take a stand with pride. I don't understand how you stand to the side. I'll keep all my plans close to my chest. Alexander joins forces with James Madison and John Jay to write a series of essays defending the new United States Constitution entitled The Federalist Papers. The plan was to write a total of 25 essays, the work divided evenly among the three men. In the end, they wrote 85 essays in the span of six months. John Jay got sick after writing five. James Madison wrote 29. Hamilton wrote the other 51. How do you ride like you're running out of time? Right day and night like you're running out of time. Every day you fight like you're running out of time. Like you're running out of time. Are you running out of time? How do you ride like tomorrow won't arrive? How do you ride like you needed to survive? How do you ride every second you're alive? Every second you're alive. Every second you're alive. They're asking me to leave. I'm doing the best. 
best I can to get the people that I need. I'm asking you to be my right hand, Treasury man. Or state. I know it's a lot to Treasury ask. Or state. To leave behind the world, you know. Sir, do you want me to run the Treasury or State Department? Treasury. Let's go. Alexander. I have to leave. Alexander. Look around, look around at how lucky we are to be alive right now. Helpless. They are asking me to leave. Look around. I'm sure I don't know what you mean, you forget yourself You're like me, I'm never satisfied Is that right? I've never been satisfied My name is Angelica Schuyler Alexander Hamilton Where's your family from? Unimportant, there's a million things I haven't done Just you wait just you wait so, so, so. so this is what it feels like to match wit with someone at your level what the hell is the catch it's the feeling of freedom of seeing the light it's ben franklin with the key and a kite you see it right the conversation lasted two minutes maybe three minutes everything we said in total agreement it's a dream and it's a bit of a dance a bit of a posture it's a bit of a stance he's a bit of a flirt but i'ma give it a chance i asked about his family did you see his answer his hands started fidgeting he looked askance he's penniless he's flying by the seat of his pants handsome boy does he know it peach fuzz then he can't even grow it I want to take him far away from this place Then I turn and see my sister's face And she is so Thank you for 
all your service. If it takes fighting a war for us to meet, it will have been worth it. I'll leave you to it. Number three. I know my sister like I know my own mind. You will never find anyone as trusting or as kind. If I tell her that I love him, she'd be silently resigned. He'd be mine. She would say I'm fine. She'd be lying. But when I fantasize at night, it's Alexander's eyes. As I romanticize what might have been if I hadn't sized him up so quickly. At least, my dear Eliza's his wife. At least I keep his eyes in my life. Thank you.